Stefano! Man, he looks bored in there. <laughs> He's like, how much do I get for this again? Is it really worth it? <laughs> yes, Stefano, it's pretty yes, worth it. Yes, it is. Bottom left-hand corner of Daybreak trailing 03, Slayer's Alicia! We can keep talking about Stefano, man, all day long, but he's just been playing so good. Not, of course, just in the NA zone, but in everything he's been entering over the last, well, five, six, seven, eight months. Ever since that IPL, uh, well, splash it pretty much was. Followed up with ESWC, all the big tournaments that he participated in. In the NHL, certainly since the playoffs started, he looked so incredibly strong. So here's the question, Kev. Yes. We've been calling him the best player outside of Korea for a long time. Well, I always say uh, we don't include Naniwa in that because Naniwa is in Korea. What's it going to take for Stefano to earn best player in the world? What's he got to do? I think most people will say that he's going to have to go to the GSL. And if he does, then if he does go to the GSL, of course, a lot of people are critical about it. They say, well, Stefano is a player who has his own style in the GSL game. They might be able to figure him out since he always plays the same thing. If people have the time to prepare for him for five, six, seven days, it's going to be a different story. Uh, I don't believe it. <laughs> well, we'll see, Kev. We will see. Next is first for Alicia. I like that as well, that he's just going to switch it up once more. Uh, there's no need to go for that quick forge if you don't really want to do anything with it. I still kind of like the whole cannon idea. I still believe that you can make uh, cannons work in control, for instance. a big believer in these cannon openings as well. Just to throw Zerg off a little bit. It's not even to get ahead, but just to forge a different, different type of game. And the way that these games have been going, I mean, Stefano has only played against Protoss at these playoffs. Well, not uh, including the online players where he played against Beastie Cutie. And that was, a, well, we mentioned that before, but... Once more, that was an impressive win as well, because Beast Security actually took out Mouse Moro, a uh, well former Mouse Moro, 3-1 uh, to one in the first round. And Moro is a player who went to both NSL finals, he was very good in Season 2, made it into the top 8, so BC taking him out 3-1 to one was impressive. But Stefano just showing the next round that he's just from a whole different caliber. He is, man. He's on, he's on another level. He's gone for the fast three bases once again, delaying his gases, as he so often does. And I, I have to feel like Alicia must be running out of answers. Yeah. He's tried just about everything. He tried the cannons. He tried the, the Stargate stuff. What is left, man? Well, the funny thing is it's so hard to spot the difference between Zerg, like Stefano, and the other really, really absolute top Zergs, those fantastic Zerg players outside of Europe. But they just don't look as untouchable as him. I would only say that Nurture at Homestore Cup looked close to what Stefano has been showing us lately. But other than that, what is really the difference? Where, what's the difference there? Uh, it's, just, it's just recognition, man. Uh, people have been saying all along that Zerg is the reactive race. And when you have perfect reactions, I guess, <laughs> I guess it's pretty hard to win against a, a perfect Zerg player, man. Stefano proving it. Right now, uh, he's, uh, he's leading 3-0. This is game four. And Alicia's got to come up with something. Now, he's a great player. We've seen him come back from behind. I don't believe that we're going to see him go down without a fight. Uh, no worries, man. I'm definitely not worried about that. He's not mining yet from this extractor in his main base. And I kind of wonder if that's on purpose or not. He mined 40 gas and then he stopped mining from it. So I can only imagine that it is on purpose. Uh, so what is it going to be, Alicia? Must be a lot of gateway pressure then. I'm not sure how many gates. Maybe some crazy zealot stuff? I don't actually know. He hasn't built any other... Uh, it has to be gates. crazy gateway pressure. He's going to try to sneak a probe to the right bottom side of this map, knowing Stefano is going to spot it quite early, but Stefano right now only has two Zerglings on the map. Both of them are shooting at the Zelda Gorex Tower. Plus one starting up now for Alicia, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five. More, 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 more. <laughs> and six gates going down for Alicia before he sends that probe back to work. Uh, more, Ben. I want more. <laughs> There's nothing like an eight gate. Oh! <laughs> And that's exactly what it's going to be. Stefano floats in with the Overlord, sees no gases in the natural. And this is what we talk about, Kev. It's just the timing, the, the game sense, the, the intuition that he must possess, sees but everything. But still, man, Stefano's at 44. He's actually making six Overlords right now. The Roach one is not done yet. He doesn't have creep spread over here, though. He does see all the gates. He knows it's coming. 
but there is no creep threat this time, so it's still going to be a hard defense. But yes, uh, this is <laughs> this is like mm, I think I know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> He does spot this initial pylon, and he's going to take it out. Wow. That will delay this first warp in a little bit. But the probe's still alive, and it drops the, a second pylon even closer to oh. the creep of Stefano. Ten lings and ten roaches, 20 lings and ten roaches on the way. But without zerking speed, it's still going to be tough. And the fact that there is no creep here is actually going to open up possibilities. Alicia has to wait right now for these pylons. This really is everything or nothing for Alicia. Alicia is going to have to win the game with this push, otherwise it's over, and Stefano will be our champion of the NHL season. All comes down three. to this. More pylons dropping, lots of warp ends, tons of Zerglings in production for Stefano. Zergling He's got 10 speed. roaches out, and Ling speed is about to finish. Plus one is almost done. So, so these Zealots are very, very strong, and plus one is actually complete now. Roach is coming forward, doing a really good job. Stefano's got a lot of units out and more units in oh, production. Oh, surrounding all the Stalkers. Stalkers are going to fall, and the Roaches are still alive. Zealots being dealt with very, very well. Great control, though, by Alicia. This is not over yet. <laughs> it's not over yet, but 30 more speedlings on the way. These Stalkers are so extremely low in HP. It's 37 army supply for Stefano. He's on three bases, 44 workers. Alicia's warping in more stuff, but Stefano surrounding the Stalkers once more is just all over the place. Alicia gives it everything he has, throwing all the units that he can possibly make at Stefano. Another warp in, but it's Zealots, Kev, and they are immediately surrounded and crushed, and GG! Stefano, four zeros! Alicia and is our North American Star League Season 3 champion! Yeah, yeah.